Hello everybody, it's terrific. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the channel. Not too long ago, I did a review or an unboxing video of a book from Centipede Press by the author William H. Hallahan called The Keeper of the Children. And I was in a hotel, I think in Fort Pierce, Florida when I did it, if I recall correctly. <clears throat> but anyway, I got the book in, phenomenal, beautiful. Wonderful edition from Centipede Press, a publisher that I have grown to love. I've got some favorites, and now Centipede Press is one of them, where every chance I get, I get me a Centipede Press book. But I showed you this book, Keeper of the Children, and honestly, quite frankly, I bought it for the artwork. I fell in love with the way it looked. It is illustrated by David Ho, and just some phenomenal stuff. Mine was copy, let's see what number I got, because that might matter here in a minute. we got to check. Mine was copy number 186 and had a facsimile signature by William H. Hallahan, signed by David Ho, the illustrator, as well as Michael Saylor, who did the introduction to the book. Let's put that one up, because what I want to talk about today is another William H. Hallahan Centipede Press edition. <clears throat> Jared from Centipede Press relatively recently said for people who had that one, if you want this one, you can get a matching number. Just send him an email. So I sent him an email, and he responded saying, all right, I got you down. Well, it's, a little bit of time went by, a week, two, I don't remember which. A little bit of time went by, and I got an email saying, all right, you ready? And I said, yeah, I'm ready. So I ordered that book. And it came in pretty quickly. It's here. Let's open it up and let's take a look. This one is The Search for Joseph Tully. It is also illustrated by David Ho with another original introduction by Michael Saylor. And the pictures that I saw, just a few, I didn't see many, looked nice. So again, terrific artwork. And I couldn't wait. I, I had to jump, get another one of these phenomenal books. So let's get it open. Let's take a look and see how pretty it is. See what it's all about. Look inside, outside, upside down. And my box is stuffed full of bubbles. Let's get these bubbles out. And this time my box isn't too bad. I recently got a book. It was the Haunting of Hill House Centipede Press Edition. And my box took a beating in the mail. This one the, uh, the good folks at the United States Postal Service seemed like they were uh, good to me. They, <laughs> my box is in pretty good shape. And I showed you the number for the other one, and it looks like, show sure enough, matched up. 186, if the sticker is correct. And uh, typical, big box, lots of bubble wrap, and a shrink-wrapped book. Let's get this book out of the shrink wrap, see how pretty she is, and... Check it all out. This knife is not good for cutting the plastic. You want to know why? Well, it's got a thick blade and the point's not pointy. For cutting plastic, it's better to have a thinner blade with a pointy point. Makes sense? Uh, just some words of wisdom from a guy who doesn't have many to spare if that even makes sense. Anyway, I'm cutting the plastic on this book, and a lot of folks will buy these books, will buy books, collector's, edi collector's editions, limited editions, signed editions, whatever. They come wrapped, shrink-wrapped, and they'll leave it in the wrap. I don't do that. I did, I did that for a while. I had books that were wrapped for 15 years, maybe. And then I started to realize that that might not be a good idea. I got a wrapped book, and it had foxing on it. The top page edges had spots all over it. And I'd read that that may be mildew from moisture trapped in the book. So I started opening my shrink-wrapped editions, and sure enough, I found one problem. One book that was supposed to be signed and limited, and it was miss missing the signature page. Uh, so... That's, that's another reason to open up your books, your collector's items, and make sure that what you got is what you think you got. And then on top of that, um, it may help to prevent moisture building up and causing mildew. At the same time, what I'll do to protect the dust jackets 
for a lifetime is I'll wrap them in a Brodart. I use Brodart, but I'll wrap them in a Mylar protector. It makes them shiny, so maybe in the light it doesn't look as good as a flat. That's a matter of taste. But I want, in 20 years, my dust jackets to be as perfect as they are right now, so that's why I do it. It's a bit of a sacrifice with benefits. Anyway, that's enough of that mess. Here is this beautiful dust jacket. Well, I should turn it like that, huh? Anyway, beautiful dust jacket. That's the front. There is the spine. And there is the back. The David Ho artwork is what got me in the gate on that one. And here we got some beautiful stuff. Let me take off this dust jacket. And there's more. Wait, there's more. But first all, I want to take off this dust jacket. And... The inside, it's got a shiny coating of something. I don't know. Maybe it's plastic, but it's uh, its nice. Unbelievable artwork. If I turn it like this, what an amazing dust jacket. There's something else I want to show you. It was actually advertised in the listing. This book was $80, and I don't know if it's available yet for everybody to buy but uh, or if it's just still waiting for people that had the first book to make their choices and make their purchases but at some point it should be available to folks that don't have keeper of the children to buy it but in the listing that i have from the email they did something here which is what they did with the keeper of the children is they have the entire dust jacket artwork pasted down on the front of this book it's a shiny thing they say it's pasted i don't know i guess we'll take them at their word but it's not like uh uh like your kid put paste on it and slapped it down it's got a bit of a let's see if you can see around the edges i'm looking it's got a bit of a sheen all the way around where there's something holding it on but a beautiful you get that entire dust jacket like i showed you stretched out on the front board of this book so the book itself might almost look better without the dust jacket. It's a, it's a beautiful dust jacket, but Centipede Press always makes beautiful books. And this is a case where they make it even beautifuler. <laughs> they, they up the ante on this, just phenomenal. And then I showed you the spine, that foil stamp spine, beautiful, amazing stuff. And then the back is plain. They Centipede calls this Brillanta Black Cloth. I don't know what that means. I don't even know if I said it right, but that's what they call it, and it's good. It's good stuff. You got a Smithsone binding. I don't know how well you can see that there, but it's good stuff. And then you got the built-in ribbon marker, and ooh, top edge stain. I love it. I love stained edges, and this book checks all the boxes on beauty. What I want to do now is open it up, verify my number. What number was it? I already forgot. 186. Testing my mind to see if it's still workable. Sure enough, and I hadn't forgotten in the last two minutes already. Number 186, facsimile signature by William H. Hallahan. Uh, also signed by the artist David Ho, as well as the writer of the original introdu of the this this original introduction, Michael Saylor. It's limited to 400 copies. I don't know how many are left, and I don't know when they'll be posted up and when they'll sell out, but there's that's what it is. The illustrated in papers, just phenomenal, amazing. The amazing amount of stuff that Centipede Press, that Jared at Centipede Press can stuff in a book for the price he can do it at. Uh, it's just phenomenal. That's why I've become a fan of Centipede Press, and long before I became a fan of Centipede Press, a lot of people were fans of Centipede Press. So I'm a Johnny come lately, but I immediately see why. Amazing productions. And one of the neat things about this publisher is you get books you never heard of, authors you never heard of, cult followings and things like that, um, that, that just by reading the, the, the most common, most popular stuff, you may never ever be exposed to, never experience. And so Centipede Press is also doing a service to the reading world by getting some of these things out to people who would have never heard of them, giving them a chance to read them and broaden our horizons. So anyway, they're, they're making money, making great books and doing a service 
to the reading community as well. And this one has the Michael Saylor introduction, the search for Joseph Tully, an afterword, and the new tenet. So it's got it's got some extra stuff in here and some original content as well. And on top of the David Ho illustrations, you've also got some other stuff, book covers and such as that that go go along with this edition. Centipede always stuffs lots of extras in there. And let's see if we can take a look at some. So there's our introduction, the search for William Hallahan. And you'll see that those pages are a slightly different color than the actual text pages, which is a more creamy white color, which is my favorite. The stark bright white contrasted with black bold letters sometimes is, is not easy on the eyes. This is more for easy reading, that creamy white. The font is kind of medium. It's not big. It's not small. It's kind of right in the box there. So, so for the folks that need large print books, this might be rough for you. But it's not smaller than normal, so it's not going to be rougher than normal for you. And I'm not going to go through all this, the extras, but there is all sorts of extra additional stuff in the book for the fans, for the collectors, for anybody who wants to take a look and see just some neat stuff in here. The search for Joseph Tully. Now I want to flip through and try to find some of these David Ho illustrations so we can see what it, what all goes into this one. I don't want to miss any, but gosh, can't ever tell. Sometimes it, Sometimes it's not easy finding illustrations. But I'll do my best to try to find what I can find. It's phenomenal artwork in this book. What a, what a deal. What a steal. What a sale of the century. I hope if you have any interest in beautiful books, Centipede Press, affordable prices, I hope you're able to get one of these before one day. Folks decide they're going to keep the books they got, and the ones that come up for sale end up going pretty high. Anyway, just looks great. I couldn't recommend this purchase enough. And this, for William H. Allahan, not an extremely well-known author, but this these are basically his two most well-known fiction books. So I don't know if Jared at Centipede Press intends to publish more works from him. I think he, I think I read he, he did six novels, eight novels, maybe it was eight fiction novels, also some nonfiction stuff. Uh, I don't want to claim to be an expert, just a little bit of Goodreads uh, research back when these, when this first book went up for sale. I did a little snooping to see because I didn't know the author. I didn't know the work and wanted to know a little bit about it. But that, in a nutshell, is Centipede Press's is the search for Joseph Tully from Centipede Press. How's that? That better? And I can think of no more lies to tell, so say lobby, baby.